Australia is a land of ancient mysteries and fascinating history. This vast and diverse continent has a rich and storied past, dating back thousands of years to a time when its indigenous peoples roamed its wild landscapes and created their own unique cultures. But who exactly these first inhabitants were, and how they came to call Australia home, remains one of the great unsolved mysteries of human history. Some theories suggest that the first people to set foot on the continent were migrants from Southeast Asia, who made the journey across the seas thousands of years ago. Others believe, that the ancestors of the indigenous peoples arrived much earlier, perhaps even before the last ice age, via a land bridge that once connected Australia to Asia. Despite its many wonders, however, Australia still holds on to many of its ancient mysteries, and the true origins of its first peoples and the stories they left behind remain shrouded in mystery and intrigue. In this video story, let's talk about the most mysterious moments of this continent. So, make yourself some tea, sit down comfortably, and we will begin. Australia is a diverse and fascinating country with a rich history and unique landscapes. From the Great Barrier Reef, the world's largest coral reef system, to the vast and remote outback, home to a unique ecosystem of marsupials such as kangaroos and koalas, there is always something new to discover. The continent of Australia was once part of the ancient supercontinent of Gondwana, and its geological history dates back millions of years. Officially, Australia is the sixth largest country in the world by land area and has a population of approximately 25 million people. The majority of Australia's population lives in urban areas along the coasts, with the largest cities being Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, Perth, and Adelaide. The people of Australia come from a diverse range of backgrounds, with the largest ancestry groups being Australian, English, Irish, Scottish, and Chinese. Indigenous Australians, who have a rich and unique cultural heritage, make up approximately 2.8% of the total population. All this is of course interesting, but we are interested in the second side of this continent, or rather, the dark side about which little is known. Looking into the distant past of the continent itself, I again find oddities both with the very display of the mainland on maps, and in the history of the continent. Let's take a look at this map called Antique World Map from 1593. For general understanding, the continent of Africa is displayed here, even signed. On this side is today's South America. Well, in the center as you can see is the mainland of Australia. And the mainland is not located on its own, but is connected to the center of the South Pole of today's Antarctica and is named as Terra Australia Incognita. Agree it is very strange. I tried to translate this text, which is written in Latin, and this is what I got in translation. The largest and most delightful island of Western America, which is now called a quarter of the world. The richest and most fertile, unknown to cosmographers and the most powerful monarchs, explored by the first emperor Charles V. In these peninsulas and isthmuses, the greatest variations in time and place, because the inhabitants are subject to four zones, the first cold, the second hot, the third and fourth temperate. That is, it turns out that in the 16th century Australia was quite well known for being one whole together with Antarctica. The very part of this mainland was explored by Charles V. For a second, this is the emperor of the Holy Roman Empire in the 16th century. It also clearly states that there are four temperature zones in this part of our world. The first is cold, the second is hot, the third and fourth are moderate. But what is also interesting is the mention of the inhabitants of this part of the world. I mean, there were people living there. Agree, this is at least twice the opening time of Robert Scott and Admiral Byrd. But specially trained people do not mention this. Maybe they've just forgotten that part of the story. We now turn to the story of a journey to another world. Relatively recently, I came across a very interesting video story by Russian journalist and video blogger Andrei Tanayev, who a few years earlier, shared very interesting information about the journey of his acquaintance, who visited lands beyond the generally accepted borders of Australia and monkey people live in those lands. And here is what Andrei Tanayev says. Behind Australia there is still a land inhabited by real ape people. My friend has been there. Initially, I did not believe his story, 
but later I came across the story of a local Australian who reached the wall, from which the police brutally returned him home, and at that moment I realized that my narrator was not lying. My friend who visited there was so shocked by what he saw, that after the trip he shaved his head and retired to the ashram. My friend at one time was a wealthy man and loved to travel around the world. At some point he reached the maximum of ordinary travel, and began to look for extraordinary travel that could capture his imagination. And then he was offered a trip to the ends of the earth, which does not exist for an ordinary person. The journey itself from beginning to end lasted 21 days, where 20 days there and back was only the path to that mysterious land. During the journey itself, only certain beans could be taken with you and nothing else could be eaten. Where they sailed it was impossible to eat local food, it was impossible to accept treats or touch any fruits that grew there. The inhabitants of those lands do not understand our language, and they do not quite look like people, and any act on the part of a person can cause fatal consequences. The beginning of the journey began from the Australian coast, or rather the bay which is located behind all the famous fences, about which we are told that they protect from wild animals. After a ten-day voyage in an unknown direction, the shore of the mysterious mainland was reached, where on its shore the travelers met the owners of those lands. The very moment of the meeting was remembered by the fact, that the owners of the lands met the guests as the lions glare at their prey antelope. The anthropoid apes held spears in their hands, and some of them had previous gifts from our world, which in turn confirmed the guesses about frequent visits to this mysterious continent. The arriving group followed to the habitat of the owners of the lands. After a short break, the process of presenting gifts from the guests to the owners of the territory began. The process of communication took place through a local Australian Aborigine, who knew the dialect of anthropoid apes. This amazing and seemingly unbelievable encounter with apes stunned a friend. The world, about which he practically knew a lot, that day became completely different and so incredible that the mind of a friend could not return to normal. After such a tour, my friend shaved his head and retired to the ashram. This story is quite peculiar and interesting as it gives references to some evidence that we can still observe on the eastern continents. I mean if the story is real about the encounter with the great apes, then it explains a lot when we look at these historical bar-reliefs here, which you can see a lot in India, Indonesia and other nearby countries of the east. And this also possibly confirms the real existence of people along with anthropoid apes, which means that these are not the builder's fantasies, but a completely ordinary reality of those times. Do you understand? Australian Aborigines also tell legends that when their significant people died, their bodies were carried far south to the ice walls, to the native places of their distant ancestors. And we see that on the ancient maps indeed Australia is connected to the southernmost continent, which means that the passage can exist to this day. There is another very interesting and mysterious anomaly, that often occurs in the southern part of the Australian mainland. This anomaly consists of strange sounds that periodically occur at night, as well as mysterious glowing lights appearing in the sky both during the day and at night. All of these strange happenings are taking place in closed areas, that are littered with guards, watchtowers, cameras and other restrictions on the outsider. The military is located in these closed areas and any attempt to enter the closed zone or settle down in its vicinity is strictly suppressed. Nevertheless, among the inhabitants of Australia there are daredevils who are trying to uncover the secret of what is happening in closed areas. I want to show you some video materials related to the military base located near the city of Parham in southern Australia. Periodically residents of nearby areas observe glowing lights in the sky. Some of the lights are related to the testing of the next weapon, but there are mysterious lights that cannot be explained in terms of known technologies for possible applications. This makes one wonder if the strange lights are indeed unknown UFO type objects. But one thing pleases me that this is the work of man, and not any aliens who came from other planets. But here another question arises. What is this technology about which we know nothing and whether it has anything to do with the latest events of February 2023, when UFOs were observed over Alaska and Canada. Given that the US military is located in Australia, it is quite possible that this is the same footprint. Also this guy managed to capture mysterious sounds in the night sky while investigating anomalies at a military base. It's 
machinery, they're getting them ready. Huh? They're getting them ready. These sounds are identical to sounds that some of you have heard at various times throughout the planet. Someone attributes these sounds to the friction of the Earth's plates, someone says that these are the sounds of some work at the base of the dome under which we all live. What actually provokes such sounds, it is difficult for me to say due to the lack of additional information. I think some of you probably know the answer to this question. It is also interesting, that two Australian bloggers who covered this topic mysteriously fell silent. Given the ancient maps that show the location of Australia as one with the so-called mainland Antarctica, as well as descriptions of the mainland itself and the images of the inhabitants on it, is there any doubt that mainland Australia most likely has completely different shapes? All multi-kilometer fences across Australia, perhaps, have a completely different purpose, but for now we can only guess what this purpose is. We are well aware that there is no smoke without fire, and if the Australian Aborigines themselves tell amazing legends about ancient hikes to the ice walls, then the truth is somewhere nearby. I told you my personal vision of the history of Australia in this short story. I do not insist on the veracity of the free flight of personal thought, let each of you decide for himself where is the truth and where is fiction. If you like this video subscribe to our channel, put like or dislike, write a little here below and share this video with your friends. Perhaps some of you will be able to supplement this story with your personal story. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Stay with us. It will be interesting.